Okay, so uh, where were we? Uh, question number four. First part, if P is M cross N, uh, M comma N and Q is N comma M, then P cross Q will have entries M comma N and N comma N. So you know clearly that is false. Why? Because we know two entries in the first set, two in the second, the product should have two cross two, that is two to the four entries should be there. So as you can see, the entry M comma M and N comma N are missing from here. Okay, so this statement is false. The next one, if A and B are non-empty sets, then A cross B is going to be a non-empty set of ordered pair X comma Y such that X belongs to set A and Y belongs to set B. That's what the definition of cross product is, all right? So that statement is true, that if we are finding A cross B, then the first entry of the ordered pair will be from set A and second entry will be from set B. So second statement is true. Now the third one, A is equal to one comma two and B have is three comma four. Then you have to find A cross B intersection null set, so as soon as you see B intersection null set, intersection of any set with null set is also null set. So that means practically we are finding A cross a null set. So even if one set is null set, then the cross product also comes out to be null set. So this statement is also true, right? Now in the fifth one, they've given you a set A having entry minus one comma one, and they're asking you to find triplet A cross A cross A. So as I said, first up A cross A Nikalo. Okay, so tell me there'll be four entries in A cross A. What will be those four entries? If you're finding minus one comma one cross minus one comma one. So minus one with minus one. So first order to pair will be minus one comma minus one, then minus one comma one second. Likewise, then one comma minus one and one comma one. Those will be your four entries of A cross A. So first step, you find your A cross A. Then with each element of A cross A, you give elements of A once again, third triplet ke liye. Like the first entry was minus one comma minus one and with another minus one, so it will become minus one comma minus one comma minus one. Then with minus one comma minus one, one also will come. Fir aap next element pakar lo, which was minus one comma one. So give it also once minus one and once one. Okay, put it in writing, children, because speaking this way, you might more get more confused. But when you put it in writing, it's a simple thing. Still, if you have problem, let me know. I will send a written solution also for this, okay? Now, so there'll be eight entries, children, out here because cardinal number of A is two. So two into two into two. So eight or triplets are aapke paas. So do it stepwise, as I said. Pele up two into two, four. Form your A cross A. Then A cross A with another A. So again, every four entry will be paired with two more. So that will give you your eight triplets. Okay, so try that and report me. What about question number five? Now the sixth one, uh, children, if A cross B is having these four elements, A cross uh, A comma X, A comma Y, B comma X, B comma Y, you have to find A and B, set A and set B. So four entries there clearly suggest ki aapka cardinal number of A will also be two and of B also will be two because two twos are the four entries are you, right? Okay, and then we know that the if I'm finding A cross B, the first entries of the ordered pair have to be from set A. The first entries kya kya hai? It's either A in the first two or it is B. So set A will be having entries or elements A comma B. And the second entries are supposed to be from second set. So set B will be X comma Y because in the ordered pairs, we see second entries as either X or Y, right? So simple enough. Then seventh one, likewise, uh, set A is one comma two, B is one comma two comma three comma four, five comma six are entries of set C and D is five, six, seven, eight are the entries. Then you have to verify A cross B intersection C will be equal to A cross B. So verification problems, uh, you just need to work them out. You'll get them easily. 
Still, if you have any problem, then do let me know. I will send you the written solution as well, okay? So like for the first part, you have B intersection C. All of you know what B intersection C means, okay? So uh, then next, find try to find its cross product with A. Okay, so just try that and let me know if you're having problems or you've got it. Now the eighth one is a is 1 comma 2 b is 3 comma 4 then you have to write a cross b how many subsets will a cross b have so i guess by now a cross b i don't have to tell you but you know a cross b will have how many entries 2 into 2 because a has 2 b has 2 so a cross b will have 2 into 2 four entries right then how many subsets will a cross b have number of subsets of any set is given by formula 2 to the power of n. Remember, okay, 2 to the power of cardinal number of that set. So, A cross B may 4 entries only that we understand. So, uske subsets kitne ho jayenge? 2 to the power of 4, that is 16, okay? And you have to list them as well. Okay, so just put this exercise in writing and let me know if there's any problem. Now, question number 9. Let A and B be two sets such that cardinal number of A is three, cardinal number of B is two, and entries from that are given to you as X comma one, Y comma two, Z comma one are the entries of A cross B. Then you have to find set A as well as B where X, Y, Z are distinct elements. Okay, fine. So um, now if you look at these ordered pairs children here, okay, so you have X comma one, Y comma two, Z comma one. So the first of the ordered pair, that is X, Y, Z, will be belonging to the first set, that is A. And here it is written, cardinal number of A is 3. And all those three elements we can pick up from here. Those three elements will be X, comma, Y, comma, Z. So set A will be X, comma, Y, comma, Z. Set B, second entries of the ordered pair. So if you look at these ordered pairs, second entry is either 1 or Two. So cardinal number of B was given as 2. So we've got both the elements. Those are 1, 2. Right? Then the last question here is saying the Cartesian product of A cross A has 9 elements, amongst which are found to be minus 1, 0 and 0, 1. Then you have to find that set A and uh, remaining elements of A cross A. So A cross A is equal to 9. 9 is 3 square, 3 into 3. So uh, the cardinal number of A, set A is 3, means set A may 3 elements. Hai. What will be those 3 elements? Okay, Ab aapka first entry is also from set A, second entry is also from set A only again. So jitni entries, hai, they all belong to set A. So what are various numbers you can see in these ordered ways? That's minus 1, 0 and 1. So set A up list kar loge. Set A will be minus 1, comma, 0, comma, 1. 3 into 3, 9 elements. That is how you get. And then you can find the remaining elements of A cross A. So two entries were given here. About one by one, write set A. Pair it up with all three. Second entry paired with three. Third entry paired with three. You'll get all your nine elements. Okay. So children, this is quite a simple exercise which hopefully I've given you oral hints for all these questions. I'm expecting you'll be able to solve them. You try it and if still you have problems, then do let me know. Then I'll send the written solutions as well. Okay.